62 Chapel Fell. See you in a bit. And it's the end of the day, well, the cycling day. I've got one more hill to do before we can go and park up in the uh, campsite we have booked for tonight. And it's a 9 out of 10 climb, hooray! So I'm expecting something pretty tough. And I can see it ramping up in front of me already. So no chances. Straight into my lowest gear. Been here a few times before. <laughs> I mean, in my last gear rather than up this hill, which I've never ridden before. Apparently this is the uh, highest paved road in England. So now I've been to the highest village in Scotland, so I'm certainly getting to see the country. Now, there's a few things that I'm looking out for here. One is a gate. Uh, a cattle grid, I think. And one is a, uh, is a bridge. <coughs> Both of which, I think, are meant to proceed some hard climbing. Oh. The road uh, again here has obviously got hot because I can feel it sort of sticking slightly. I should imagine that's not going to help. I can see the road over to my left ramping up and round. It looks a beauty. When I say beauty, I mean quite steep. But again, it's one of those toss ups, isn't it? Whether you want all the hard stuff at the beginning or at the end. Cyclists, this route is liable poor weather conditions at all times apparently. <laughs> what a great sign. today, unless something pretty dramatic happens, the only adverse weather condition that I've got is a little bit of wind maybe, but other than that, there is one puffy white small cloud hovering almost right above the hill it seems, and that's about it. Road drops away dramatically here. Oh, and here's the bridge. Yeah, 
as Simon says, not much room to take much gradient through the slope through there. Uh, and steep. Right after. And it's sort of um, broken up a little bit more with the wall here, which just makes it seem a little bit less barren than the last climb. This looks flattish, a little bit of a headwind, 4% gradient, so not flat. Uh, I think it's going to get slightly harder work at the top over there. Although my little white cloud has disappeared. and chug up to this cattle grid. Obligatory cattle grid. And keep just working my way up. Eleven percent here. The gradient is really misleading because it's so long and straight. It doesn't seem that steep at all. But trust me, it feels steep. And this, I think, is my final breather here before the long hard slog to the top. So just gonna take it easy. Trying to get my breath back a bit. <coughs> Swim my legs out a bit. Right, long sock now. It's so warm that when I touch my bikes on my knees, my bike on my knees, it used to be it was quite cooling. 
Actually, even the frames now, super mega hot. And it's not having the desired effect. 12% here. Ten minutes down, roughly halfway. <coughs> but I think probably if anything the easier half done. Can't believe this weather though. Incredible. It's every now and then, just have to get out of the saddle, shake my legs out a bit. Muscles all feel kind of alternately tight and loose. Loose like they're about to fall off and tight like they're about to go twang at any stage. Hot work, hot, hot work. These uh, long grinding climbs, I think, that really take it out of you. You know, now looking nervously at every upslope. <laughs> I'm hoping I've got enough to drag myself over it. Stay away wind. I don't want you to become a factor. getting ragged now and my breathing
whole quarry here. Getting destroyed now. Come on, soft legs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 